I'm here today as part of Australia's commitment to do some uh, work in the area of agriculture, in particular to deal with some of the most significant challenges facing East Africa and the, and the rest of the, of the continent. Um, one of those, of course, is PPR. A outbreak of PPR can be devastating for families, for the farmers, for communities, um, not just because it takes away immediate income, but also erases the potential for further income in the future. It undermines confidence in Kenya and in other countries' markets for agricultural product. We're trying to establish a coordinated approach, bring proponents, experts, uh, other practitioners from other, across, the, across the globe, across South Africa, to, um, so that the, the approach to dealing with this disease can be more effective, more efficient, and so do more quickly. Well, the, the reason why we're seeing a lot of uh, interest now in PPR is that the disease has been spreading and its impact has been getting worse now, particularly in the last 10 years. And, and in Africa, we're facing major problems, but also up into Central Asia and the disease even got into China recently, showing you know, how wide the area that's affected. So this meeting is at the moment setting the stage for understanding what the options for control are, and they differ from country to country and region to region. And then that will lead into developing research projects which will meet the gaps. That we need vaccines which can withstand temperature, the high temperatures in remote areas without cold chain. Uh, there is a lot of progress in that direction, but we need to get it from the, science, the technical uh, development stage into the available commercial stage. We need to know more about identifying endemic areas as opposed to uh, epidemic indicator areas. We need to know about more about the disease in sheep. And we need more work on socioeconomics, understanding of the impact of the disease on the livestock population and the impact of control measures, social, social effects and economic effects. So we've got the, the virologists, the laboratory people here, but we've also got epidemiologists, socioeconomists, and we've also got the people who are implementing PPR control um, in their countries, so it's important to learn from them. And one of the big needs coming out from the discussions just now is we have very limited understanding of the, the sheep and goat populations in which the disease is happening. So even just doing basic research on population dynamics, and that's something I'm interested in, uh, and also how the disease is behaving in those populations. So that's the kind of field research that, that I want to be doing. From this meeting is identification of priorities for research, a list of partners to put together their experience, expertise, and then to go ahead to build this network the GFTADS or INFAO are building. So all these people will work with the two organizations to go ahead and have a good share of experience and information. By the end of the year, we will have a global strategy which is taking into account of uh, what has been done in the region and the regions will revise their strategy if appropriate.